Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition, Love and General Reading. This is for the element of Earth. Um, so if you are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of January 31st through February 2nd, 2020. So I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Remember, these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but... Uh, hopefully they give you some clarity. If you guys are wanting to book your personal or private reading, be sure to email me uh, to marchtarot at gmail.com. That information is in the description box below. And payments are collected on Fridays. Uh, if you already have the updated pricing info, you can go ahead and just pay for your reading. If you want to reach me by phone, that's a different process. So make sure you're subscribed so that you can get the notifications of when I'm taking live calls. All right, so we have the central issue, Heart of the Matter, as the Four of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Chariot. We have Temperance. The Magician. Ten of Swords. And the Three of Wands. All right, so central issue here looks like someone has been stuck in their ways. Um, I also feel like someone is coming off as very uh, shy or unmoved by someone's advances and more than likely because this person has been hurt in the past. So I don't know if this is your energy or someone coming towards you or any type of um, maybe setback or failure that you may have had in the past. I feel like someone has built up some sort of wall of protection. Um, definitely looks like someone is having trust issues or someone is very guarded, like they don't really trust. And this person is a hopeless romantic. This is my first time noticing that this person has the sun and the moon on their armor. So this is a sensitive uh, man or woman who just doesn't want their feelings hurt. So they may be very reserved or hesitant when it comes to opening up and letting someone know that they're interested or that they care. So someone is very stubborn and the sun and the moon also just looks like soulmates. These are two people who have found each other. I think both people may have trust issues. I feel like someone is trying to seduce the other person too. She's trying to seduce him, but he's like, I don't know if I can trust you. I'm not falling for it. He's just like looking at her. And she looks like she's opening up. It looks like maybe she just came out of that dark cave. So maybe she has just opened up and started revealing how she feels. Or maybe she's trying to motivate him or encourage him to, to like your turn. Like I said, how I feel, I put it out there, how I feel now is your turn. But he's like, well, I don't know if I can trust you. He needs to feel secure or safe. Um, I kind of heard someone say big baby. I don't know if you're referring to yourself as a big baby or if you're calling the person coming towards you a big baby. Um, someone definitely is being defensive, but at the same time, I feel that someone does have determination. So I, it's just a matter of feeling comfortable in one skin or feeling confident about the outcome no matter what that is when someone is going to go after what they want it could be going after a love interest or it could be pursuing a dream but whatever it is I do feel like this person once they once they're ready they're gonna take off and I also feel like if you were ever torn or feeling pulled in two different directions that Ultimately, you are going to do what's best for you. 
Maybe you're headed towards a Sagittarius or a Cancer. Um, so I'm also getting the energies of maybe a Gemini or Capricorn, but the Capricorn could be your energy. But it looks like there also is a need to, to heal or to balance energies. I feel like there's going to be some sort of mutual reception between two people. And I'm seeing telepathy. I spit on my hand. I'm seeing telepathy and I'm seeing um I'm seeing indirect communication taking place. I feel like someone does this to protect themselves. They're like, no. I'm going to send indirect messages or I'm going to communicate with you telepathically until I feel safe. This is my safety net or this is my for my own protection so that I don't get hurt again. Hmm. I also feel that someone will be victorious in whatever it is they are going towards. So you are going to overcome any type of obstacles or blockages that have been in your way or you're finding a way to make things work. Now I'm seeing something about a Leo or Leo energy. I think it's the Leo coming out of you if you have any Leo placements. Hmm. It's indicating courage an act of courage so maybe you will be confronting your fears this weekend or doing something courageous hmm someone has been pretending to be to be dead or to be silent um but they've been watching here. So I'm getting terms like playing possum, play dead. This is someone's trick. This is what they do. This is someone's mind games. So someone likes to pretend like they're not around or like they're a ghost, but they're not. They're still around. Now, spiritually speaking, you guys may have some sort of unusual metaphysical experiences where it feels like you're uh, communicating with um, um, your ancestors or your spirit guides. And I also feel like someone is trying to manifest an ending. So I don't know if someone doesn't have the courage to break up with someone directly. So they just do it through magic. Like I'm going to break us up or I'm going to break them up. Um, so I feel like maybe someone is performing some sort of a breakup spell. Hmm. Now, whatever illusion this is or whatever mask someone is wearing, I do feel like they're going to remove it or take it off. Maybe someone says, okay, I'm not going to play games anymore. I'm not going to pretend anymore. So it looks like someone decides to take action and then there's going to be this anticipation to see what happens next. It's like, okay, I've done my part. Now it's your turn or what about you? And like I was picking that up up here too. So maybe someone is like the ball is in your court. Like I'm handing this over to you. It's your turn. Like I've done this. What, what are you going to do? Now, it also looks like there could be a situation where there's distance between you and a loved one. Or if you're going to be starting some sort of new job, maybe it's a distance. Or maybe you're considering uh, relocating for work. 
or someone does some sort of traveling for work. Uh, okay, and then also for advice, like if someone was asking what they should do or if they should stay or if they should go, like it looks as if someone was being patient, but now the advice is to, to protect yourself and move forward. So go forward with some sort of decision, but of course protect yourself as you move forward. Also on a mundane level, I'm seeing something in regards to someone's car needing to be healed or fixed and taking your car to the mechanic and them having to figure out what's wrong or why your car keeps cutting out. So I feel like there's something going on with your car where it keeps stalling and you're needing to take it into the shop. I feel like the truth has been covered up about a situation or there's been it's been eclipsed. I don't know what that could be about. I don't know if that's some sort of conspiracy. But I feel like the truth has been covered up. Um, and someone is just like, bury that. Bury that information. Don't talk about that information. Um, all right, so let me look at... Let me look at the chariot. Somebody has taken some sort of trip, um, but something about the trip is, it's not a secret, but how can I put this? I just feel like something has been partial, like truth is being mixed with lies. So if someone is like, yeah, I'm going on a trip, I'm going here. Like they're telling the truth that they're going on a trip, but the location or the destiny where they're headed is not the truth. So you could be moving towards an earth sign or you as an earth sign may be making some sort of decision to proceed or to move forward uh, with some sort of, um, I see this as two things. Either this is going to be deciding to move forward with some sort of job or business opportunity or if it's a relationship deciding to work things out. Somebody's been paying for readings on you or you have been paying for readings. Someone is deciding, they're like, I'm going to pay for a reading. I need to talk to a psychic. I need to talk to this healer because I need clarity about my situation. So you or someone else is are getting readings done on the other person or just readings about a situation in general. Maybe, you know, it's related to family or job or Something like I feel like you're going to a spiritual advisor for something. I see someone um, definitely wanting to start something, start over, start fresh. Something is beginning in secret. This is the beginning stages of something the start of a business partnership. So it's either a business partnership being formed or uh, something romantic or a mixture, a blend of both. And it also may be that someone is coming towards you for a business proposal, but their intentions are, you know, something else. They're like, I'm going to approach them with a business opportunity, but I really want to get to know them romantically. So that's another thing about mixing truth with lies. So... I feel like someone is kind of covering up their intentions. Mm. 
Yeah, it's, it's about deciding to move forward on an opportunity or deciding to put your opportunity out there. So I feel like something is like the start of a foundation. I also feel like maybe something had fallen apart previously. Let me look at the three of wands. I'm seeing something being decoded. So if this is a situation where two people are talking indirectly with one another, it could be about someone feels like, okay, I decoded that message. Um, now what do I do? Now that I've decoded this message, what do I do? Or now that they have figured something out, or now that they know who I am, what do I do? Definitely some sort of plan. We got the two of wands. So someone, I do feel like some sort of action was taken and now is someone is just kind of waiting for the other person to make a move. So there is some sort of strategic thing going on. Someone is strategizing. Um, someone is trying to call someone's bluff. So I don't know if someone is, you guys are literally like playing some sort of um, poker games or any type of card games over the weekend. And it's just about a bunch of fun and you and your partner are communicating with each other. Um, and you're winning because of your tricky strategy or whatever it is. It's like you know how to read people or you know how to deceive people. Um, I do also get the energy of manipulation. People are manipulating like energies are being manipulated. Someone has the power to deflect or change one, one energy into something else. I think in a love situation, these are two people who, who each have their own way of manipulating the other person. And it's like two people who have like different gifts and I know sometimes manipulation is like, why use that word? Because that's what that's what's happening. Um, it, it's like I, I can just call it I'm calling it what it is. It's like it's manipulation. I don't care if you're doing it in a nice way or in a negative way. I'm seeing some sort of manipulation. Like maybe someone is calling and talking so sweet to somebody. That's manipulation. Um Someone sending flowers to someone, that's a form of manipulation, trying to coerce someone into opening up or trusting. Um, so whatever the case, I see two energies that both manipulate, but they have their own way of manipulation. Maybe someone is more into yoga or um, positive, um, what do you call it? Affirmations, using affirmations and channeling while the other person is like, no, I use spell work to get what I want. So it's all manipulation is what I'm seeing. I also feel like someone is either looking for you. There is an understanding why there was a separation or a breakup. So I feel like maybe now someone understands why they had to go their separate ways, why they had to quit a job or why they got fired, why they had to cut someone out of their life or why someone cut them out, cut you out of their lives. Like I feel like now there's some sort of understanding. Yeah, I feel like someone's speaking their truth. Someone is being very open about how they feel. And it's just a matter of, it's it's like, it's, it's on you now. Like I put it out there, I called you, or I text you, or I said something directly, now it's your turn. Um, 
So yeah, that's what I'm getting from that. Um, I do feel like there's going to be a renewal. There's going to be communication after there's since there's been some sort of period of silence. Let's go ahead and pull some energy cards for you guys. All right, additional messages for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So you have fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, the world, attachment, third chakra, Archangel Chamuel. So there may have been a blockage with communication. Um, and so something's happening where I feel like there's an opportunity to talk or express oneself and I feel like there's also maybe someone being creative finding creative ways to express themselves I also feel like someone is taking their power back but that requires removing some sort of mask um, so whatever that illusion was like something was the face of something and that's now being removed or maybe someone is realizing that they have been their own worst enemy. And, you know, whatever the case, I feel like you are taking your power back. Now that you can see. You are not wanting to be chained to an illusion anymore. Or chained to some sort of lie. It's like I have to take this mask off. And with the world, it looks like something may be coming to completion. Or something may be coming to an end. And I'm looking at this eclipse. So something was eclipsed. But that's changing. Like something is coming into full view. You also may have had to take yourself outside of the situation and view things from a different perspective so that you could have a clear understanding. And I was saying earlier, so like if you were going through a separation or a breakup, maybe now you understand why that had to happen or why you had to lose your job, why you had to undergo some sort of loss. And the world also looks like maybe someone is at a distance or maybe there's this opportunity to travel or relocate. But I really feel like something is being illuminated. You were in a dark, dark about something and you're not going to be in a dark anymore. And that's because there's going to be communication. People are going to be talking and expressing themselves. And I feel like you have angels or spirit guides around you assisting you with these problem areas. Now, even if you turn out to just be focused all on you and there's no one else in the picture, I feel like you're still doing things to activate these energies or unblock them if they have been blocked. So your creativity could have been blocked or your, you know, your speech, your ability to speak or communicate was blocked. Even if it was just something about your phone being dead uh, or your Wi-Fi, having issues with Wi-Fi, like whatever that was, I feel is coming to an end. Maybe spiritually, you're just doing some things to uh, meditate or clear your energy. Mm. And I also feel that you're going to feel inspired or you may be the one inspiring 
other people. I'm seeing something like being hyp hypnotized. I don't know if you are into self-hypnosis or if there is someone that every time you come around them, you become hyp hypnotized and just start speaking the truth. It's just like, why is it every time I come around this person, I just start telling them everything. I start removing the mask and just telling all my business. Like there may be someone around you that just starts speaking, the tr that makes you just want to tell the truth or be honest um, or let your guards down. I feel like it was blocked at first, but whatever the case is, it's not anymore. So yeah, those are the messages that I'm getting for you guys. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you.